While acute coal exposure briefly increases energy expenditure, the extra calories burned are negligible. And although it increases your brown fat stores and your metabolic rate, it also increases your appetite, which counteracts any of those effects. Cold plunges have been shown to reduce inflammation after a workout. But inflammation after a workout is a good thing, particularly if you're trying to build muscle. Doing a cold plunge right after a workout counteracts what you just did. However, since cold plunges do reduce delayed onset muscle soreness and help you bounce back quicker between workouts from a performance standpoint, you may want to do them if you're an athlete competing at events that span over several days. However, if you're trying to build muscle, it's counterproductive. Finally, while cold plunges have been shown to temporarily increase white blood cell counts and antioxidant activity, whether this keeps you from getting sick hasn't been established. The most robust evidence appears to be in favor of cold exposure elevating your mood due to a large dopamine release following exposure, which is substantial and seems to last for at least six hours afterwards. That's why I'll often do a cold shower first thing in the morning. If you're going to make a case for regular plunges or cold showers, it's the mood elevating properties that appear to be the best supported by the evidence. All other claims simply aren't backed up by the science. Thanks for watching. Oh boy. Oh!